Hey guys, how's it going today? I am excited because I've got a new foundation to try. It's the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer from um, ColourPop. I know it's not new new anymore, but I just got it. I got it in Fair 3W, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to try just this today, and um, <clears throat> so I'm excited about that. And then I got a new little lip balm by Clinique. It's called the Clinique Pop Splash Lip Gloss and Hydrate, and it's in Caramel Splash. Yeah. It's beautiful. I tried it on my hand yesterday in the store and I was like, oh, I want this. So let's get started. If you hear vacuuming, it's my husband and I'm not gonna stop him because who stops their husbands from vacuuming? And then I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. Don't mind these marks. That's from getting punched in the face yesterday by uh, my Mastiff. So, uh, my Redness Reducer by Smashbox. Hey, and the star of the show, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid. You know, Hyaluronic Acid, <clears throat> excuse me, is such a trend right now. It is such a trend. seems to be everywhere on everything <clears throat> it's very sheer coverage very sheer even for me um but I like it it's not as glowy as I thought it would be but it's not bad I noticed I had to go in with my brush and kind of smooth it out it doesn't go on well with the hands so maybe it's a brush kind of Maybe it's a brush kind of foundation or tint. So, we'll see. And hold, please. If you want coverage, this is not the, the foundation for you. I, I like sheer coverage, and I usually mix it, so I get the coverage I want. But um, if you like coverage, this is not going to be your jam. I'm going to go in with the Glossier Stretch Concealer. Cover up my additional redness and my war wounds from my dog. I expected it to be the foundation. I expected it to be more hydrating. It feels quite... Not matte, but it wasn't as liquidy, I guess, as I thought it would would be. It was. It's it's not as liquidy, I guess. Today is the best day ever because not only is my son coming home today, but my baby brother and his family are coming for the weekend. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. I am so excited. I can't wait. So here's what it looks like with a little extra coverage. Not bad. I, I mean, I'd wear it again. <clears throat> okay. I wanna, whoa, what was that? I'm gonna go in with my Hollywood Flawless Filter. Like always, I'm going to try to put it up a little higher. And not forget to blend it on my nose. But I do like it on my cheek. And on my chin. I want to be more shiny. I like being shiny. Okay. <clears throat> So I just rubbed in all the, my Charlotte's 
Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm gonna try a different bronzer today. I'm gonna try the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I haven't even touched this and I've had it for a while. How long? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna really get in there. I don't know why I go in so hard on bronzer. I think they're all my Fenty. Let's just go in easy. Go in slow and build it up. I have a heavy hand. It's pretty. Pretty. I'm liking this trick. Bringing it out right here. Kind of lifts the eyes. Get it right back into that hairline. Messes up the hair, but that's okay. My hair's already messed up. Actually, as I sit here, the foundation's starting to look a little nicer. As it's warming up to my skin, it's starting to look more dewy. It's starting to feel more dewy. Of course, I added all that glow on there, but still, it feels better on my skin. Okay, I'm going to go on with my favorite blush at the moment. This one by the Pac-Man. And a little bit of this one down here too, just to see. Kind of blend it into the bronzer. How oh, those come off strong? Those are pigmented. And yet I go on. This is the Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush that I just had to have and I, don't, I haven't found any use for it except for like this. Try to blend out my mistakes. Okay. To do the eyes or not to do the eyes? That is the question. I think I'm just gonna do what I did yesterday. It was really pretty. Um, I'm just gonna go over with, I'm gonna just do a wash of this color and this color, these two. They look white, but they're not. They're like pink and blush. They're really pretty. Really pretty. use my color switch I'm just gonna go in with this first one right here all over the lid into the crease. That's really pretty. 
And then back in with this little guy and line the upper line, upper lash line. make some major mistakes but that's okay that's what q-tips are for right <laughs> q-tips thank god for q-tips <laughs> okay <clears throat> and why does it keep going white like that when i back up Okay, I'm gonna go do my brows, lashes, and I'll be back. And I'm gonna do some fluffy brows again because I was digging it yesterday. Okay, I'm back with my fluffy lashes. Okay, and now to do the lips with my, let's see, it's called the Clinique Pop Splash in Caramel Pop. And it's just this little fat, little chubby, cute little thing. I'm excited to use it. Mmm. Doesn't smell like anything. I like it it's a good match for like everything now let's set the face oh, I always forget my thingy okay I'm gonna go put some eyeliner on my lash line and my tight line and some faux freckles and I'll be right back okay and I'm back and I only put freckles like where I really have them. They just don't really, they're kind of faded. So I just put the freckles where I really have them and just kind of bring them back. So this is the finished look. No, I'm not going to bring my hair down because it's up and it's somewhat okay. So I'm going to just leave it. So this is the finished look, guys. I hope you like it. And I probably won't film tomorrow just because I'm going to have company. And what is this hair doing? Yeah. So I will see you next week. Hope you have a great weekend. All right. Bye.